Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Super Luigi Galaxy Part 15. <sighs> anyway, shall we actually try and beat this level now? <laughs> Couldn't quite do it last time, but that's okay. I have a good feeling about this one. Hint, hint. So, yeah, the Cyclone Stone is a recurring level in both this game and its sequel, Galaxy 2. And, uh, I think it's a pretty cool design. Although, some of it just kind of makes me think of Super Mario Sunshine. It's like, hey, check out all these, uh, shapes revolving around an open space. You know. Um, but whatever. Definitely like the black hole and water physics, though. It's just, it's a pretty cool stage, just a little bit challenging. And I have no idea what I'm waiting for. <laughs> I guess paranoia come. Yeah, I guess paranoia does that to you. It's like, how long, how much time do I have? I should have just went there. Those enemies are the kind that can be really easy to evade, or they're really annoying. As long as you're paying attention, you should know which one it is. <laughs> and, uh, sa sad to say, last time I w really wasn't paying attention that much. <laughs> Yay, subjects. You know, it's funny, Mario 64 was the game that invented the camera angles with the C buttons. Zoom, left, right, and zoom out. But this game really doesn't utilize the camera that much. Or at least not the zoom feature that much. I mean, there are often levels where you really can't control the camera. Which doesn't really bother me, it doesn't interfere with the gameplay. I just found that somewhat interesting. Ah, at long last, we got the star for the Cyclone Stone. Alright. They say Star Stone. The star for the Cyclone Stone. Whatever. Alright, moving on. Let's see. Shall we go back here? Eh, nah. What else we got? Bubble Breeze Galaxy. Alright. Oh, the swapping are dead! Fortunately, you can ride along in the bubble. I guess it's good pointer physics and stuff like that, but, um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I can really say about this level. Once again, I suppose this is just a practice level for a, l a harder level just like it later. Our glorious starship, the Starshroom, it crashed! That's nice. This is a poisonous swamp. If you fall in there, you're done for. Yeah, I don't know. I could have sworn it looked like grape jelly. Woo, the wind sure is strong here, eh? You don't think... It don't you think it'd be awesome to ride that wind? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. If that isn't a hint enough for you, then I don't know what is. <laughs> Ow! I think I broke my bubble phone. What? That a wonderful land. Hey, before you ride any bubbles, let yours truly, Phil Board, lend you, bend your ear for a sec. You can move around in your bubble by holding down A, but do it with your pointer... You, you saw it. If you go too far on one side, use the pointer to blow you back. And, yeah, pretty much self-explanatory. The longer you hold down A, and it, the closer you are to the bubble, the farther you will go. And, uh, it's all about touch-and-go here. <laughs> oh, Star Chips, how convenient! Ah, 
I really did something kind of stupid. It wasted a ton of time. I basically got all the star chips, and then, as you'll see, the launch star is right there. <laughs> well, you'll see in a minute. Right, you see me in there. Right there. There's the launch star. I had to basically go all the way around, because I didn't see it that first time. So just now I cut it to save you the trouble. I literally just went back to the way I came and went all the way to the beginning and realized way too late that uh, I did something stupid. So I just saved you about two and a half minutes of misery. <laughs> it's funny for like ten seconds, then it just gets kind of sad. So yeah. <laughs> I wonder how that, that stump got there anyway. Ah, I'm questioning the logic of Mario games again. That's no good. Logic of Mario games. I don't even know if there is such a thing. There's physics of Mario games, but logic? Nah, that was thrown out the window long ago. Press the button! Whoosh! That's right, you move. Kind of reminds me of a shutter from Mega Man, but maybe that's just the fact that I've played way too much Mega Man in my life. <laughs> a boss shutter, rather. I probably could have been hit by one of those uh, mines there, but it wouldn't have mattered, but I didn't feel like it. Stage clear! Alright. Oh, new galaxy. I guess we're not going there just yet. Prankster Comet Ahoy! Oh no. Fast Foe Comet. Fast Foe's on a Cyclone Stone. They're making us go back there again? I mean, technically, I'm the one who's taking us back there. But, you know, it's the completionist in me. Don't blame me. Oh well, prankster comets make it a little more interesting to say the least. But still, even even if they have, even if they're fast, this is nothing compared to the challenge in uh, Galaxy Two, where the only way to slow down the enemies is by stomping on that um, that switch that slows down time. Because they probably go twice as fast as these guys here, or at least you know time and a half. And you're on a timer, and you have to collect things. I forget if they're silver stars or purple coins or both, but uh, yeah, it's a cakewalk compared to that. It's funny how things are relatively difficult, or not as much, the more you play, right? <laughs> See, I used to think, for example, Super Mario Brothers was a hard game. I mean, back when I was a kid. And I still have not beaten the original Super Mario Brothers. Someday I will. But then I played Lost Levels. And I'm talking about downloaded Lost Levels on the Virtual Console's import. And my god, that game. It's just unfair. I mean, there's challenging and then there's Lost Levels. Jesus Christ. Hey, maybe because maybe because uh, they they were faster, I was able to get through the game the level a little quicker. I mean, it has a easier sense of rhythm that's a little bit faster paced. Like anybody who's played DDR, if you play DDR a bunch and you play on a certain speed, like normal or heavy, then you go back to basic or whatever it's called. It's harder because you're you're moving too fast for the game. I think it was a lot like that. Okay, next galaxy. Buoy Base Galaxy. Nice. The 
Floating Fortress. Hmm. I spotted a pipe down there. That's where we're going. This here is a floating fortress. We call it Buoy Base. But no one's using it now, so we're just here for upkeep. No problem. Guess what would happen if we blew up that underwater weight? Come on, guess! Give up? That tower in the middle of the water would float right up to the surface. Hmm. Well, once again, if that's not a hint, I don't know what is. Blooper! Bloopers are much more manageable in this game, because you have, what? Yeah, a ton more other directions to go. I don't know what they're called. Maybe torpedo bills? It's still awesome, though. And somehow we're magically on top of the entire... Wait, no, no. We're on the bottom of Bowie Base, but... It... Perspective. Mind. Yeah. At first I was going to say we're on the top of Bowie Base, but we are in fact on the bottom. You can tell because... That fan there was at the bottom before. Oh, Green Star. Those look extra special. Which is exactly why we came here in the first place. I mean, other than to get all the stars, but I meant this star in particular first. Come on! Bullet Bill Brigade, get out, get over here! Ah. Should have been a third one, would have been, a, would have been three stooges. Yes. I think I technically took would have taken damage there, but it hit the cage at the same time. Nice. Oh, we're out here. So I guess that means there's a little bit of explanation from Rosalina or Polaris. Polaris, whatever. You rescued a green power star. These stars have a special power. Ask the green lumens about them. After all, they will transform into they will transform into green power stars someday. They will transform. Thank you for helping me. I am a guardian of the trial galaxies. To restore the doorway, we will need the power of two others like me. A trinity of greenness. Excellent. Luigi approves. Well, we'll worry about that when we get to it. For now, let's head back to the kitchen. Get back in the kitchen! Ah, oh, Batman Beyond, you are sexist. Well, we got over 600 now. We can finally feed the Luma. Which I guess we'll do. I would have laughed if they got angry for angry at you for running away. Like, hey, where's my food? I've been waiting here three levels. That's it. I'm stopped. Here we go. Transform. All right, this is where I'm gonna cut it off. Thank you for watching, everybody. And we will start part 16 promptly with this next galaxy. Take care.